I want to do something a little bit different today. We're going to do some videos. Um, if, if you know anything about what I do, especially on the podcast, you know that um, I have a tendency to uh, talk about the Bears a little bit here and there. It's, 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 a, it's a whole thing. Just, just giving you some backstory here. So, for starters... This man right here is Zach Pearson. You may have seen him. He's a prominent uh, Chicago Bears reporter. Um, I feel like he and I at least used to have some pretty good rapport. Maybe we do. I don't know. Um, but things between me and a lot of Chicago Bears reporters, fans, whatever, started to spiral over the Justin Fields era. The reason being, very simply... I was very adamant that Fields was a bad quarterback. A very, 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 very bad quarterback. And they got very angry. And they would fight me tooth and nail. Constantly. In fact, there are a couple that still refuse to let go and are convinced that there's a real quarterback competition going on in Pittsburgh, which is fake. Justin Fields is terrible over there, just like he always was in Chicago. The reason I bring all that up is because I spent years trying to convince Bears fans that they don't actually have a good quarterback. There's no evidence to suggest they have a good quarterback. Things are actually quite bad, and you might need to go ahead and find yourself a new one. Now, the Bears do have a new quarterback. And interestingly enough, we're starting to hear a different tone. And um, I'm a little annoyed by it. And so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know... We're going to talk about it a little bit. So here's just a couple clips of uh, Mr. Bill T. Zimmerman over at Second City Gridiron over on YouTube. Feel free to subscribe. By the way, I'm not, I'm not trying to go too hard on anybody. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. If 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 you give me that much crap and I've been right for three years, I get to talk a little trash. Okay. Now, here's what we're hearing about Caleb. Not only are we hearing Caleb looks really good, which is fine. He probably does. He's a talented guy, right? Um, but we're hearing how talented he looks in contrast to how trash Justin Fields looked, which is interesting to me for a couple reasons. Here we go. Just how smooth it is. Um, you know, for Caleb Williams. Now, with like Fields, you'd see the flashes in, in these mini camps mm. and in training camps. It's just flashes. Um, you'd see the arm talent sometimes, but it was just a lot of inconsistencies. Um, even in like drills and stuff, like with Caleb, mm. you know, go routes are like pretty much if you go to any practice, you'll see go routes for three or four minutes. I don't think I've seen a quarterback put the ball in the same exact spot, like every single go route. Um, that's weird because that's not the way it was presented. For many years, Justin Fields is dominating training camp. He's an incredibly gifted quarterback. All this stuff. It's just everybody else's fault. Now you're telling me that the guy can't put the ball in the same place two times in a row? That's what we're, what, what we're talking about? I didn't know that's what we were talking about. It, the, the best way to describe it is it looks more like a quarterback with the motion and all that going on. It looks more like a quarterback. Um, it just kind of feels different. Like he, He's made some throws. To be clear. He looks like a quarterback, and that's different. Wow. I remember it was somewhat blasphemous, not even among Bears fans, but um, the entire national media and national fan base, and even half of the Green Bay Packers fan base, when you would say that Justin Fields isn't a quarterback, that was, that was blasphemy. And I said it a lot. And I, so I know exactly how <laughs> I was treated when I said that. And now we have a prominent Bears reporter saying that this just looks different. He looks more like a quarterback. That's kind of crazy. What else do we got here? Justin, it happened in games. And it just, it just never felt like it got to the stage where it was like you could feel consistently, consistently good about a quarterback throwing the ball with those two. And Justin hmm. obviously has his athletic ability and it would make spectacular plays. But as a passer, just for me, it never was consistent. We Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Never? At no point. So now Bears fans are saying, at no point did it ever feel like Justin Fields was anything more than an athletic guy. He was never there as a passer. Where did this come from? 
I'm 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 not going to say public enemy number one among Bears fans because I don't think that that's the case. But I'm certainly not very well liked. And the only thing I ever really did, with with a couple other exceptions, was try to get them to see through data and all other means that Justin Fields is not as good as they're pretending that he is. And you're telling me now that you never saw it with him as a passer. Never. That's freaking crazy. You, know, you won't oh, believe... get out of my life. For how old this loud. couple is. Excuse ads. me? Uh, I ask people who are in really good shape, what kind of diet... Do you? We had good seven-on-seven seven periods where we were like, wow. Like, okay, that, that's good. They also had a lot of... It, and I'm sure you probably remember this too, where it was a lot of bad. Like, a lot of oh, incompletions. I don't remember. A lot of late time to throw, things like that. Yesterday, to, I, Actually, I do remember. I, I commented on it, but I don't remember Bears fans really talking about it in fact when i brought it up it was a whole lot of you know rent free some other kind of stupid nonsense with caleb besides that one play to stephen carlson i it was out quick it was the right read it was the open read it was the arm talent hmm. so i'd say at this stage where justin was his rookie year um at this stage compared to caleb i think caleb is, is ahead and I, I just think there's going to be a difference we're going to see it in training camp with, with those seven on seven 11 11 11s where caleb's going to look very polished and pretty good in those drills yeah um also just wanted to bring up something else since we're here let's scroll down a little bit further here um because i made a lot of other predictions for example i talked about that linebacker you overpaid and i told you that last year was an outlier and he's not going to be very good next year and he was garbage last year and uh, I'm not hearing a whole lot about that. The other thing that I said is that Nate Davis is not a good football player. And I got skewered for that. I'm curious to hear a little bit about their thoughts on Nate Davis. There's another guy that I got uh, screamed at and, and whatever else happens on social media uh, saying that eh, dude's not very good. He's probably not that much. Oh, yes, he is. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, shut up rough quote for me that yeah. uh, I'd like to stay bad. here but no offers on the table. <laughs> I, I, uh, I know because, they're worried about the injuries but that that was wrong. Yeah <laughs> and, and, and like Tevin is a great I mean he's a great guy he is like he'll tell you every you know he'll he'll be completely honest with you and I feel like the, the regime he was drafted into you know they kind of screw him around a little bit he had the stuff before training camp the injury things like that um I don't think Nate Davis will be here after this year who knows what they're going to do at center? Don't think Nate Davis will be here. Uh, what else we got on uh, Nate Davis really quick? Which is weird because I thought Nate Davis was super amazing. You know, going to this OT or OTAs mini camp, no, I, I, I probably wouldn't even think about that. After hearing Eberflus, seeing what's going on with Nate Davis, it's, it's on my radar. I'm not 50-50, 60-40. It's on my radar to kind of watch and see what they do with this offensive line because someone's getting those reps when Nate Davis is out. Someone's getting an opportunity to show I can do this. If he's out for training camp but the pads are on, not a good thing. Yeah. So the bottom line is Nate Davis just refuses to show up. He doesn't want to be in Chicago, and uh, he was never that good to begin with. Anyways, let's get back to Justin Fields here for, for a second because, um, again, astonished, astonished that Bears fans who – absolutely lost their minds when I said Justin Fields was not a good quarterback are now saying, man, Caleb looks so good. We never saw that when Fields was here. I want to point out a couple things. Let's go back. Let's go back and actually look at what Bears fans were saying because they're lying, or at least Zach is. Sorry, Zach, but it is what it is when they say that Justin Fields didn't really look that good as a rookie. In fact, the reason that I knew that to begin with is because I remember specifically when Justin Fields was getting all these positive reports, and the first thing I did was to go and see if the same thing was being said about Trubisky. So I could point out how you said the same thing about Trubisky, but they didn't. They called out Trubisky. They, they said Trubisky looked like garbage, right? So I was like, okay, I guess I can't use that. They didn't like Trubisky. They really didn't like the draft pick, so there was no parallels there, right? I, I wanted to go back and draw the parallels to see how, you know, you, you said the same thing about Trubisky. They never did. They never liked the pick. They never thought he looked good in practice. They were never Trubisky fans. Ironically, Trubisky was a better quarterback than Fields, at least a better passer. Um, but anyways, it wasn't there. And that's how I knew it. So let's go through a couple examples here. 
We've got uh, NFL.com. Kevin Patra, rookie quarterback Justin Fields, impresses in preseason debut, sparks Bears rally past the Dolphins. We've got uh, Alyssa Barbieri over at Bears Wire. Bears Justin Fields says NFL game was kind of slow to me. Uh, we got our friend over here uh, from DeWindy City Productions. Here's a little bit of what he had to say. The play he had a couple plays after that, guys. My God, that was a special ball by Fields. Okay, so he's going down the field to Javon Williams. Javon Williams is just running a... You know, just want to point out, the title of this video here is Justin Fields has an insane practice. Basic vertical routes, going down the field, trying to get in between the safety and the cornerback that was on him. And Fields just delivered the ball perfectly at the right time to Wims, you know, in between the safety and the corner. Okay, so it's right in the middle. Mm. And lofted it over the cornerback's heads, placed it also where the safety couldn't make a play on the ball either. And he put the ball right in Wims' hands. Okay, so that was just such a great play by Fields. First of all, recognizing Wims open down the field, but also delivering that ball. So you got recognition, you got accuracy, you got all this stuff. That's weird. That's kind of a, a, an interesting thing. We'll get back to that one. Here's Lewis Riddick talking about um, Justin Fields. First and foremost, look, I, we all know that there was Make a this lot louder. of BS circling around Justin Fields heading into the draft. As, yep. as far as whatever his level of football intelligence was, mm. whatever his level of commitment was to the game, BS. Was, he, was he going to be the guy who's going to go the extra mile yep. to be great or not? There was a lot of that going on. Mm -hmm. A lot of it. I'm going to just tell you this. I'm pretty well connected in Chicago. From day one that he has gotten there, yep. they could not be ha happier and more ecstatic about really? his level of commitment, wow. his attention to detail, mm. his football IQ, his willingness and desire in how, in how intentional he has been to eliminate all distractions, sure. his leadership, his poise, his swagger, his respect towards Andy Dalton swagger. as far as saying, Big hey, deal. look. I know why I'm here, but at the same Swagger time, I abs, know you've been right? a good pro. So he has been a guy who has kind of kind of fallen in line, performed when he's needed to perform, but also shown Andy the level of respect that he d believes that Andy deserves. When he gets out on the football field, his continuous progression as far as yep. being able to get all these long, lengthy play calls Oof. communicated in the huddle. His ability to know what not only he's doing, but what everyone else is doing. Yep. And that improvement that he's making every, every single day, day has them, I can just tell you this, it has them freaking ecstatic. Wow. It's just <laughs> a matter of now, when, as I said before, when do they kind of like pull that show cover Shuffer, off of them that and say, hey, look, it's time face. for you to go. Because Matt wants to play it safe with him. Because he wants him to be great. Mm -hmm. And I get that. I'm just saying, I think it's going to be a... I think they're just going to have to, at some point in time, just go, man, just put him in there. Yeah. Enough of this waiting. Put him in there. Because he is blowing their minds as far as Oof. how happy they have been with wow. everything that he's doing. Wow. Obviously, that's very different than what we're hearing about uh, Caleb First Williams here. Shut up. Uh, very different. Uh, completely different uh, thing there. Uh, article here, Bears training camp report, days uh, four and five. Justin Fields is heating up. Uh, let's see, a couple of these other ones we'll skip over here. Justin Fields is impressing the Chicago Bears in NFL rookie training camp. Justin Fields' natural arm talent is taking over Bears training camp. Wow, that sounds impressive. Justin Fields draws comparisons to Russell Wilson. That is so freaking hilarious. So absolutely hilarious that that's a title. Uh, what else we got here? Justin Fields is swaying young Ohio football fans to root for the Bears. Wow, he's recruiting people. And then uh, he did great here, et cetera, et cetera. I want to get to this one, though. This one's the most interesting to me because this is an uh, a uh, podcast, Windy City Gridiron for the Chicago Bears. Bear with me. Is Justin Fields hype real? Do you know who the expert is commenting on this? Do you know who it is? It's none other than Zach Pearson. Zach Pearson. From Bear Report. And here is that dialogue. Come on now. And we are back with We're Bear back. With Me, a Chicago Bears back, podcast baby. hosted by yours truly, Robert Schmitz, as we talk through training camp with Zach Wils or Zach Pearson. There you go. Tell I've been reading too much. Sorry. <laughs> Jets fan, Bear aren't Report. you? 
Ugh, I've just been watching all these rookie quarterbacks yeah. as much as I could because, I mean, it's the same thing I did with Mitch Trubisky, obviously. How's Deshaun Watson? How's Patrick Mahomes? And we know how that worked out. Yeah. But on the other hand, the analytics darling before the draft seems to have stayed the NFL darling after the draft. Yep. Is Justin Fields just looking better than Trubisky did, or does he look legitimately good? Like, what are we talking about here? Man. By the way, just the conversation... Granted, it was true that they didn't like Trubisky, whereas it's a lie now that they didn't like Justin Fields. But doesn't this sound exactly like the, the exact conversation they're having with, with um, Caleb Williams? Is it just me, or does he just look way better than Fields? Like, uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to jinx anything. I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. He looks good. He looks really good. And I think the main thing with him was his first couple of days, he kind of struggled with the practices. And he don't look like the veteran that was learning quicker and, and how he should. Justin Fields looked just like he should. It was the first day of training camp as a rookie. You really can't expect much. These past four practices or so, five maybe, he's gotten better every single one. Whoa. And it's to the point where I've been saying it all offseason. I think the Bears are very comfortable with Justin Fe or um Andy Dalton starting. And I think the Bears have set it, set the bar so high that if Justin Fields you know, he gets that mark, it's a win-win because then you know you have a potential star in your hands. If he falls short, the bar was set so high and they're so comfortable with Andy Dalton that, you know, it's fine. It's a win-win for them. I'm at the point right now, we got, we're got two weeks into training camp and we got a couple more to go. I'm starting to think there is a shot that he could start week one. Oh. I don't know if it's going to happen. I think there's he's he, the door is still open though he's kept that door open and probably nudged it open a little more than what many thought would um, where it would be right now. That those practices the last couple of days have just been I mean damn good. Like <laughs> I've you know I've told people I've seen you know the arm talent Jay Cutler at times spin the football how the football kind of comes off his arm. You didn't see that with Mitch Trubisky or Nick Foles or you see what I mean? Exactly the same. It's exa it's the exact same conversation, just transposed. I, I you see the way you didn't see that with these guys, but you see it with this guy, Chase Daniel, um, God, any Mike Glennon, any of these quarterbacks. Are we how the yeah, Andy Dalton too. No, the, how the ball comes out of Justin Fields' hands, the zip, the accuracy, the, the accuracy, spin the on zip, it. I mean, the spin it is it's like something else. And not only that, but. He can essentially adjust his arm angle and make all of those throws. I mean, I've made, I've, you saw the one that was going around on Twitter yesterday, oh, right? Who didn't? <laughs> He's had at least probably two or three of those that have, no one's caught on video, or I've, I haven't seen them yet, but I've seen them at practice. We're like, whoa, how the heck did he make that throw? He's got others where his, you know, his arm angle's not that low, and it's kind of in between that he's made where he's kind of just, right. it's, it's hard to explain. It's like, I don't know, it's like, wow, did he just do that on the fly? Like, how do you adjust your arm angle and be that, you know? Like, it, it's almost like he's throwing it around a defender, like, to make it go in a circle wow. in a way. And it's, 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 I don't know, man. It's crazy. It's like, it's, it's insane to see this type of arm talent. And not only that, but he's getting better with, you know, his decision-making. Um, there was a throw the other day. They're kind of down like 50. Tell you what, I think we get the point. So... I'm just curious, when we talk about Caleb Williams and how unique he looks, how different he looks compared to Fields, who just never really had the arm talent. He, he was athletic, but he never had the arm talent. Am I supposed to take that seriously? Am I supposed to take it seriously when, when the same people who are talking up Fields and saying he's got arm talent like we've never seen in Chicago before, significantly better than Trubisky and, and all these other bums that we've had in here, um, am I supposed to take that seriously? I mean, again, Caleb's a talented guy. I'm not rooting him out because this isn't just... My, my thing with Fields was never homerism, and I think Bears fans are starting to see that. They'll never admit it, which is why I'm going to come on here and throw it in their face. But it was never homerism. It was never because I'm a Packer fan. I will give you a list a mile long of Chicago Bears players that I admire beyond belief. Justin Fields was never a good football player. And all the excuses Bears fans made because they, they freaking overextended, they massively overextended, and didn't have the freaking, you know, fortitude to just man up and say, you know what, I, I overreached and I was wrong. 
So so we're in a situation now where we have to defend every freaking thing. We have to come up with excuses upon excuses upon excuses. And then after we say, no more excuses, he's got everything he needs, that season concludes and we just pretend that we didn't say that. And we say, never mind, actually the receivers were the problem and the offensive line is the problem and the coaches are the problem. And he gets new coaches all the time, but every coach is the problem. And then after getting like three different coaches, well, then that then that's the problem. It's not that he needed a good coach. It's that he needed stability, even though we wanted the other. It's it's just stupid. And now we see the ultimate culmination of stupid when we see Bears fans pretending that they never saw it in Justin Fields, that he never had the arm talent. Give me a freaking break. Give me an absolute freaking break.